the Philippines has not done nearly enough measures to fully help those who are suffering from different kinds of mental illnesses. 40% of the Philippine population is under the age of 18. Students in National Capital Region, or NCR, have experienced high levels of stress with 26% admitting to having a hard time coping with the pandemic. This shows that students have a higher level of stress than employees, farmers, and others. From March up until of August of 2020, the National Center for Mental Health received an average of over 700 calls from just 400 calls monthly. With only 60 facilities in the entire country, only 7% of public and private hospitals have a psychiatric ward. This brings the ratio of mental health workers to only 2 per 100,000 population. There are only 5 government hospitals that have psychiatric facilities for children. There are only 84 general hospitals that have psychiatric units. Out of the 46 outpatient facilities, only 11 are designated for children and adolescents. There are only 60 practicing child psychiatrists in the Philippines, with a majority practicing in urban communities. Mental health has yet to be taken seriously in our country. The stigma of mental illnesses in our culture is something that advocates, and different organizations are still trying to break. Now in a pandemic, it has proven to be more present than ever. Two years into the pandemic, as employees go back to work, students still remain at home using the online learning platforms, with mostly children and teenagers below the age of 17 being the ones who have experienced being in lockdown the longest. Studies have shown that students are experiencing high levels of stress during the pandemic, which can lead to different mental illnesses in the future. With the lack of support from the educational system, as well as the lack of appropriate government facilities, we as a people must help ourselves, and more importantly, each other. Because if not now, then when? If not you, then who? Here are some of the different organizations that advocate for mental health. With each having a different community and focus, you can find the one that best suits you. If you ever need someone to talk to, especially experts, or are looking for online therapy sessions, here are some hotlines that are readily available.